Hey guys, this is uh, Richard from Welsh Tech. Welcome back to the next video. This time, we're having a look at the Ampler Game H6 uh, 7.1 Virtual Surround Sound Gaming Headset from Fi Fine. And obviously, I've done some uh, microphone testing, so we will be putting that into the video, of course. But first of all, I want to take you into what it looks like. First of all, now you do get a user's guide. Then you get the headset themselves, which, well, I mean, you know, <laughs> uh, as far as like cables, I mean, it's got a very long uh, cable and it is USB. So basically, no, no basic headphone jack. It's basically a USB. Now, as you can see from the overall design, they look okay. You know, it's got pad in there, it's got a smiley face, it's got the L and the R for which side goes on. And overall, I don't like these headphones. Now, it's not for the microphone or anything like that, it's purely on the fit. Now, this feels awfully uncomfortable. Now, I have been using it. And it's not, I don't personally feel comfortable wearing it because we've got this massive uh, volume button by here and it turns a microphone and stuff like that. But this is like, so basically one side is hanging down like that and you can feel it when you're wearing them, it strains a little. Uh, I don't like the foam on the ears. They it does not feel comfortable in my ear and honestly as much as I appreciate them sending this out I can't I can't personally myself recommend them uh, obviously you know the the microphone sounds okay but because they don't feel right to me and as far as people have said I've got a big head these do not feel comfortable now of course They've got height adjust and stuff like that, but they just do not feel comfortable in my ear. I don't like the... I don't just... Personally, I just do not like them. I do not like this long cable. I don't like the fact that they don't feel comfortable in the ear. Honestly, when you're listening to something, because the spacing between the pad and this is so small, your ears are stuck in there, so your ears get trapped. And I've been having a bit of a headache wearing them. That could be just my sample. I don't know. But me personally, I don't actually like them. But overall, we'll get into the microphone testing and then we'll come back. How to enable XMP. Right, so, as you uh, listen to the mic, the mic sounds okay. I mean, it's alright. I mean... It's basically like a budget mic, but I honestly, guys, look, if you're looking for a different, if you're looking for a headset, I honestly don't like these. That isn't me just, you know, thinking on them, but I honestly don't like them. They do not feel comfortable when I'm wearing them. But then that could be some, that could be just me, but I honestly don't like them myself. One good thing is the microphone is detachable, but obviously... That does leave a little bit of crackling, it, you know, so you have to adjust the volumes of the mic. But overall, I mean, I see, I really, I wouldn't buy them. But as much as I don't want to upset, fine, fine. But I want to be honest and I want to be known as a reviewer who will give you my truthful opinions and... This time, even if they don't want to work with me again, I have to tell you that I personally don't recommend them. But that could just be a personal preference. But other than that, look, I'll if you want to get if you want to buy a pair, then obviously I'm I'm not gonna leave a link down below because I honestly don't think they're worth the money. There are much better headsets on the market for the price. The AOC headset I also reviewed. 
that was £15 cheaper and they felt brilliantly and the microphone wasn't bad either for £30. So, you know, look, I'm sorry to fight fine, but I just can't recommend them. This is Richard from Welsh Tech. Don't forget to subscribe, don't forget to like, because I've got the budget PC gaming setup to come this week as well. So, don't forget to subscribe, don't forget to like, and goodbye.